Hey, it's Chris here. In this video, I want to take a couple of minutes to explain why I prefer to use Figma over Sketch. Full transparency, I own both. And in fact, I almost exclusively used Sketch before and then I've moved over to using Figma. Now, the biggest reason about why that transition happened is because of platform support. You see, the Code with Chris team started to grow and not everyone was using a Mac. And I didn't want to kind of fragment our team, you know, some people using Sketch and then other people using Figma. So I decided that everyone uses Figma. And for the extent that we use it, feature-wise, they're both the same. Now, I know some of you guys who use these tools day in and day out professionally are going to not like that statement because you guys will definitely know the details about what makes those two programs different. Um, but for the extent that we use it for designing apps, doing app graphics, uh, social media graphics, YouTube thumbnails and stuff like that, they both are perfectly fine. Now, talking about platform support on Figma for a moment, uh, they have desktop apps for PC and Mac, but actually I find that we end up using Figma in the browser like 99% of the time. Uh, for me, I love it because it's fast, it's easy, and I never have to do software updates. So um, I usually have a Chrome browser window open already and it's just another tab. So it's really awesome. The other thing is the price point. Now, Sketch is not expensive, not by far. In fact, it's a really good deal for what you get for the price that you pay. However, Figma has a free tier, which worked perfectly for my team and I haven't had to pay for using Figma for a number of years and I'm still not paying for it. Now, the free tier allows you to have uh, three projects per team, I believe, and up to two collaborators per project. If you don't need more than two people working on the same document, then you're not really gonna have a problem. And in terms of the three project limit, I haven't really experienced the problem with that because you can always create another team and get another three projects under the same login and account. So when you log in to your Figma account, uh, you're just gonna have multiple teams and each team can have up to three projects. But within each project, you can have as many documents as you want, right? And each document has uh, pages and artboards per page. So there's a, <laughs> there's a lot of ways to organize what you're doing so that you don't hit these limits. The only time I, I think that you're really gonna hit a hard limit where you're gonna have to start paying is if you want more than two people to be collaborating on the same document. Now, in terms of collaboration, Figma has also been great. I can't really speak to uh, collaboration and sharing with Sketch because when I was using Sketch exclusively, it was just me as a solo developer. For all I know, Sketch probably has the same capabilities, but for Figma, um, collaborating has been really great because for each Figma document, uh, you can just create a link to that document and I can post that link with the task and the task board that my team uses to um, kind of get organized and, and manage and see what everyone's doing. I can just post a link to the Figma file and when they click that link, it just launches it in the browser and then they can look at it, they can export the graphics they need or they can update it or whatnot. So we're not passing files around. And also the fact that we've been managing with just the free tier in Figma has really saved me that sketch licensing cost. Um, I mean, for one person, it's not very expensive, but you know, for a team of five to six, then that starts to add up and that money could be used for other purposes. Ah! And the last reason I prefer Figma over sketch is just due to the nature of the work that we do. We produce tutorials, for app development and a lot of beginners, they're just dabbling, right? They don't know if app development is for them yet. They're not very serious about it. And to have to pay for a license fee to use, uh, to be able to produce graphics for your app is a barrier to entry, right? Whereas I could tell people and recommend to use Figma. You could create a free account. You can dabble around it you can practice and then you can actually create your graphics and export it and you can use it all for free. That definitely helps in terms of getting people into app development and building their own apps. Now, as a professional, if you're using these tools day in and day out, um, obviously you probably will have a different opinion about it. And in terms of support from 
other graphics tools and other graphics you know services or platforms sketch might be more well supported um, maybe even in terms of the plugins that are available for sketch versus figma sketch might have a bigger library of plugins so you know all of those things definitely play a factor into your decision whether to use sketch or figma um, but at the end of the day you have to see what purpose you need it for and consider all of the factors for that so those are my personal reasons about why our team is using Figma over Sketch. I'm interested in what you guys use and what you think. Let me know in the comments below whether you use Sketch or Figma and tell me why. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.